Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow watermelon in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. This variety is called Golden Midget. Let's see how this is going to turn out in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. This is the first time I am growing this watermelon. I don't know how the germination rate is going to be. So I am going to place one seed in each pod and start with two pods in Aero Garden Bounty directly. and start two more seeds in a paper towel. Just place the seeds into paper towel and wet the paper towel. Then place it into a ziplock bag. Close the ziplock bag and leave it in a dark place. Coming to Aero garden, this garden is all set and good to go. As always, I will add water, but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. It's been five days. Looks like both seeds germinated. I can see a nice seedling here. I don't see any seedling yet here, but it definitely looks like it is sprouted. Anyway, I just want to grow only one plant. So I got what I wanted here. Let's see if this is going to survive. Now that I see the seedling, I will start feeding the nutrition. I will use Aerogade nutrition throughout this grow cycle and I will use it as recommended, which is 12 ml at every feeding cycle. Maybe I may need to increase the nutrition going forward, but we will discuss as these plants make progress. It's been seven days. Both seeds germinated successfully and the seedlings are coming very well. I still want to grow only one plant in this garden, but I don't want to trash this seedling. So I might find some other garden to transplant this. I will continue both seedlings in the same garden for some more time until they are well established. It's day 11. Both seedlings are coming excellent and they started developing real leaves. That's very exciting. It's been 13 days. Both seedlings are coming excellent. As I was so desperate to save this seedling, I just made my LED pot max 21 pod hydroponic system ready. I already covered all the holes and the system is ready to go. Now I'm going to transplant one of these seedlings into this LED pot max. And leave the entire room for one seedling here in this Aero Garden Bounty Elite. It's been 16 days. The seedling is coming nice. It is showing nice progress with the multiple real leaves. It's day 24. The plant is coming excellent. It started producing wine and it's going in the right direction. So far so good. It's day 27. The plant is coming very nice. It started producing multiple vines and they are going in all directions. So far so good. It's day 32. The plant is doing excellent. The first female flower bud I saw dried up completely. This is expected because I did not pollinate. Today I see a nice male flower but this has no use because I don't see any female flowers at the moment. There's one more coming up here and at the same time I see a female flower bird. Hopefully these two bloom at the same time, hopefully tomorrow so that I can pollinate them and probably get a watermelon. Let's see. It's day 35. For the very first time, I saw both male flower as well as female flower on this plant. I just helped these flowers with pollination using a paintbrush. I simply transfer the pollen from male to female. Hopefully that's going to work. It's day 38. I see lots of flowers and they are mixed up with the male and female. Look at all these flowers. This is male, male, female, two male flowers here.
so this plant has so many male and female flowers and i did my best to pollinate all the female flowers let's see if any of these will survive so far i don't see any signs of survival let me show you some of the female flowers so this is the one i pollinated in last two days and this flower i pollinated yesterday and this is a flower i pollinated just now and uh, here is one more i pollinated this in last two days let's see if any of these will survive it's day 41 none of the baby watermelon survived here is the first one this is second one and here is the third one all of them turned yellow so they are pretty much gone i don't see any female flowers at the moment i see lots of flowers but all of them are male flowers i'm just going to wait for more female flowers to show up and i will continue the pollination process and see what happens it's day 45 today i see six female flowers it looks like a nice day from now on i am going to change the pollination method let me quickly talk about the new pollination method that i will be using for rest of this experiment there are many ways we can pollinate the most popular method is take a paintbrush and collect the pollen from the male flower and transfer it onto the female flower but for me the most effective method is take the male flower entirely just cut it off and remove the petals or just twist them to the back so that we can see the center of the flower clearly now tap the male flower onto the female flower don't press it too hard we don't want to spoil the pollen just keep tapping a couple of times gently in this method the pollen will be released from the male flower and that will be transferred onto the female flower so I pollinated all these female flowers these are all the male flowers I used so let's see if any of these six flowers will survive it's day 49 I have some good news today for the very first time I see a baby survived and showing nice progress this has reached to the size of a penny I'm just keeping it side by side so that we can compare the size this is in fact a little bit bigger than the size of the penny so that is really good news right next to it i see one more baby this is also showing good progress but it is still small so i don't have a lot of hopes on this this is one more baby but this has given up i see the color is changing to yellow so it has given up most of the watermelons are giving up so quick just as an example i have one baby here let me just put the penny right next to it so that we can compare the size see it is very small and it is giving up so quick it started turning yellow that's an indication of giving up all the watermelons so far have given up at this stage but for the first time i see a watermelon showing nice progress let's see if this is going to survive this is really a great motivation this is clearly telling me to be patient and let the plants do their job it's day 56 i have so much excitement to share today but i'm totally speechless i don't know how to share my excitement but let me show you look at this watermelon it is showing excellent progress it is already two inches wide and coming very nice this plant didn't stop just there i see one more watermelon showing very good progress in addition to these two watermelons I see a few baby watermelons looking healthy and showing little bit of progress that's really 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 great progress as of today it's day 63 the plant is doing excellent and the watermelon is growing nice here it is I just kept a tennis ball right next to it just for size comparison they both are equal in fact the watermelon is little bit bigger than the tennis ball and the second watermelon is also doing good comparatively it is pretty small but i see a little bit of progress 
these watermelons are growing slow but i can definitely see some progress it's day 73 the plant is still doing great and the watermelon is growing excellent it recently started turning yellow one side is still green but the other side started turning yellow the fully ripened watermelon will be completely yellow so i'm going to wait for it the other watermelon is not showing any significant development I think it reached to this size almost two weeks ago and just got stuck there. Not sure if it is going to grow any bigger, but anyway, let's wait and see. It's day 78. The watermelon is doing nice. It's not growing any big, but it started changing the color. More than half of it already turned yellow. There is a little bit of green here. I'm waiting for this watermelon to turn completely golden yellow. The other watermelon is also not showing any growth in terms of getting fat. It's not even changing the color yet. So maybe it is either stuck or growing very slow that I am not even recognizing. The plant is still looking healthy. It is producing uh, some flowers already. I see some flowers and I'm continuing the process of pollinating. For a long time, I stopped pollinating the flowers because the plant already has two watermelons growing. So I have no hope that the new flowers can survive but i recently started uh, pollinating let's see if this plant can produce any more watermelons it's day 85 the watermelon is almost golden yellow there are only few green spots left i'm very tempted to try it i'm going to harvest this in a day or two and give it a test test the other watermelon still hanging here it is slowly changing the color maybe this is the max size it can grow the plant is still doing good it started producing new flowers and i am pollinating them that's not working the baby watermelons are surviving but that's okay i already have a watermelon growing so i'm not going to worry too much but i'm still going to do my best pollinating all these female flowers by the way just ignore this water indicator i added water to the maximum level the roots got stuck in the water sensor that's why i keep on seeing this water indicator notification i don't want to touch the plants especially when i have this beautiful watermelons growing that's why i'm just leaving it as is once i harvest this watermelon i am going to clean the garden and fix the water sensor but until then i am going to live with this water indicator notification it's day 88 i can't really wait anymore this watermelon is looking awesome looks like it is ripened very well i'm going to take a chance and uh, harvest it let's see what am i going to get worst case i can learn when can i really harvest the watermelon all right Looks very nice. Maybe I should have given it a little bit more time, but let's see. Let's give it a test test. All right, it's time to test test. Mm, perfectly ripened. Mm -hmm. Sweet? Yep. Very sweet? Okay. Very. very? Nice. How about you? Sweet or very sweet? Very sweet. Nice. Now it's my turn. Wow, it's really sweet. Actually, it is fully ripened. I think this is the right time. As soon as it turns golden yellow, most of the green is gone and it's time to harvest. All right, that was a lot of fun. It was so satisfying and this is called form to table or form to stomach i hope this experiment will go longer and i get a lot more watermelons let's see where will this end up and how long this experiment will go on i just wanted to mention a few details about the nutrition before i wrap up the video 
Initially, until 40 or 50 days, I was just going with the recommended dosage, which is 12 ml at every feeding cycle. Later on, the plant started drinking up a lot of water. And I also realized that the watermelon plant need more nutrition. So I ignored the AeroGuardian's recommendation and started adding 4 ml for every 1 liter of water. Later I realized that the plant needed more nutrition. So I bumped it up a little bit and started adding 5 ml for every 1 liter of water. And that has been working very well. So I recommend just sticking to 5 ml for every 1 liter of water for watermelon plant. I intentionally don't go the route of measuring PPM and EC and add the nutrition accordingly. I would like to keep things very simple and straightforward like how Aerogoda Nutrition is doing. That's why I always play around with Aerogoda Nutrition and I came up with 5 ml for every 1 liter of water for watermelon plant. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.